Hello, I hope you all are doing good. In this video, we will be talking about a partial superset. What is a partial superset? A partial superset is a modern enterprise ready business intelligence web application. The features of some of the features of partial supersets are a rich set of data visualization, an easy to use interface for exploring and visualization data create and share dashboards, it's an enterprise ready authentication with integration with major authentication providers like database, open ID, OAuth or remote user through Flask app builder. An extensible, highly granularity security permission model allowing intricate rules on who can access individual features and the data set. A simple semantic layer allowing users to control how data sources are displayed in the UI, which fields should show up in which drop down and which aggregation and functions metrics are made available to the user. Integration with more SQL speaking RDMS through SQL Alchemy, deep integration with root.io. So first of all, uh, in this video I will show you how you can you know set up the Apache superset on Docker. First of all, you have to. Uh, first of all, you all have to download and pull the Docker image, and the command to use is Docker pull Apache, and then superset. I won't be doing that because I have already this in my computer, and once it's downloaded, it will take some time to download. But once it is done, then you have to start the superset instance on any other port but for uh, here uh, we will be uh, opening the instance or the port on 8080 so you can run docker run minus d minus p minus p represent the port and then the name of the instance that is superset and then uh, once this is done you create the instance then you have to start the con uh, you have to start the a container and after installation or in, uh, initialization you have to create a user so first of all you will create an admin user I will share the link in the description then you can create a user give your name an email a password and then uh, so for an example you can you know migrate local DB to latest so and also you can load some examples if you want to we will see how we have i will show you some of the examples that we that we can get uh, uh, when once we load it and then you can set up the roles once this is done then you can navigate to this url so on, on my side first of all let me show you so this is my docker and you can all see that i have these right now instances and super set is there i will start the image and once it's done I will open it in the browser now it's open I will write down my password and username and then I'm actually in now you're seeing that in the superset window uh, we uh, we can see the data charts dashboard and SQL lab so first of all let's see some of the dashboards that we got uh, while you know when once we load the examples so these all comes in uh, for the example so this is a sales dashboard a very good dashboard with some descriptive some you know one liner some numeric some bar charts and some you know some pie chart uh, a donor chart sorry and it's a very good uh, graphical representation of a sale. It's it, it also you know you can have uh, in the dashboard you can create two multiple reports. So this is for the you know the proportion of multi monthly revenue. So in superset, the thing that you have to keep in mind that uh, to to if you first of all you will uh, extract the data. You know you can upload a CSV. You can upload, upload us Excel. You can, you know, connect to databases. In this example, you know, we have this. You can 
you know, add as Postgres, Presto, MySQL, SQLite, or if you, these are the supported databases like Spasha SQL, Apache Spark SQL, MySQL, you know, SQLite, Apache Druid, or uh, you can use Postgres SQL, and then once these are connected, you can see and you know the the data sets so in in the databases we have these data sets and you can create a lot of data sets from there once you have the data sets there then you can create charts so keep in mind before creating the dashboard you have to create certain charts so let's suppose let's see that uh, the games per genre genre and if we open that so this is my data set video game underscore so sales these are the column values and then it's actually the chart type of the chart is tree map so you, you do that and then the time span is this the group by is genre and then row limit is this you can you know choose whatever the color scheme you want the ratio and the number format you want to choose you can also do the sorting so there are a lot of charts that you can create right and then uh, from from these example you can see you have correlation distribution evolution flow kpi map you know table ranking tools and whatever you think uh, is is actually a good for you so you can choose the data set and then you can create the chart whatever you need it for them. then uh, while creating a dashboard you can actually uh, include as manage charts in in your dashboard let's suppose like this you can have a pivot here you can you know top 10 here then you can bring and drag and drop all the charts that you want it then in the sql editor it's actually similar to uh, the one in gcp bigquery it's very very good you just simply run it write the query select the database from here you can select the database the schema and then the table you want to uh, see so you see and it will also show you the time it taken the query history you can also see in preview that's a very short introduction about uh, a super site and how you can you know install it on, on docker uh, that's it and if, if you have any question please come in and do like and subscribe i will be sharing these type of short videos for you guys to understand and what are the new open source tools in the market thank you so much i will see you in the next video